as patron of the Association of Commonwealth Universities, one of the Duchess of Sussex's key causes is supporting girls' education. Meghan Markle made a special surprise appearance as Prince Harry continued his royal tour of Africa and Malawi with an outing close to her heart. The royal dad, who took son Archie, five months, on his first official royal outing earlier this week, paid a visit to the Nolakule College of Education on Sunday. Harry met with a network of young women who are supported to attend and complete secondary school with the help of UK aid scholarships through the Campaign for Female Education. During his outing on Sunday, Harry saw firsthand the impact of UK investments to ensure that girls obtain at least 12 years of quality education. The project is supported by the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, of which Harry is president and Meghan is vice president. Although the Duchess of Sussex didn't physically make the trip with her husband, she did sky pin. As her face appeared on the screen, which was positioned for all to see, the group of young women burst into song, as Meghan could be seen clapping along with a big smile on her face. The royal dad is visiting Malawi after traveling to Botswana and Angola earlier this week. Early next week, he'll return to South Africa to meet Meghan and Archie in Johannesburg for a few more days of outings before the family of three returns home to London. One of Meghan's key causes is supporting girls' education. She was named patron of the Association of Commonwealth Universities earlier this year. In December, Meghan spoke with a group of students and leaders at King's College London as part of the ACU to discuss the importance and impact of higher education. She also got personal about her own college experience during a speech from her royal tour in Fiji last October. As a university graduate, I know the personal feeling of pride and excitement that comes with attending university, she said. From the moment you receive your acceptance letter to the exams you spend countless late nights studying for, the lifelong friendships you make with your fellow alumni to the moment that you receive your diploma, the journey of higher education is an incredible, impactful and pivotal one. I am also fully aware of the challenges of being able to afford this level of schooling for many people around the world, myself included. Everyone should be afforded the opportunity to receive the education they want, but more importantly the education they have the right to receive," she continued. And for women and girls in developing countries, this is vital. When girls are given the right tools to succeed, they can create incredible futures, not only for themselves but for all of those around them. And while progress has been made in many areas across the Commonwealth, there is always scope to offer more opportunities to the next generation of young adults, and specifically to young women. Before she became the Duchess of Sussex, and a film and TV star, Meghan was a regular college student at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. She double majored in theater and international relations, and was a member of Kappa Kappa Gamma sorority. Meghan's former professor, Harvey Young, who had her in his studies in black performance class in the spring of 2003, told the Chicago Sun-Times that she was a respectful student and thought she had a lot of potential in the industry. She reminded me of a lot of our other very promising alumni, in that she was passionate about theater and really had a sense of self-confidence that you could imagine would allow her to weather the storms of the professional world," Young said. While Meghan Markle stayed behind in South Africa with baby Archie Harrison as husband Prince Harry embarked on solo trips elsewhere in Africa, she made an unexpected appearance alongside him in Malawi. On Sunday, the Duke of Sussex met with students and alumni supported by UK scholarships from Campaign for Female Education at the Nilakul College of Education. They were seated in front of a TV screen. I know there's somebody else you'd far rather hear from than me. Hopefully if technology doesn't fail us you may see somebody on the screen," Harry told the students. Meghan suddenly appeared on the TV via Skype, prompting the women to burst out into song. I'm so happy to be with you, is there a delay? Meghan asked. No, it's great keep going, Harry replied. We're just so proud as President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust that we can support you in everything that you do because we cannot begin to express how valuable and vital that work is. We're just incredibly proud to be part of it," Meghan said. I wish I could be with you, we're in South Africa right now Archie's taking a nap. I'm with you in spirit. Today, 
the Duchess of Sussex linked up with Nilakul College, my long way, to join the Duke and an amazing group of women who attended school through the help at Kempford and its 20-year-old alumni network, comma, read a post on Meghan and Harry's Instagram page. These comma women are part of a major network across Africa, which has 140,000 members and 17,500 in Malawi alone. These positive female role models, leaders and entrepreneurs, are working to lift their communities out of poverty. Money distributed by Kami goes directly to each of their alumni, who then use their own resources to support another three children to attend school. Along with support from the at Queen's underscore Commonwealth underscore Trust, Kama and at Kempft are changing the lives of many young girls though education and empowerment, the post read. As president and vice president of the QCT, the Duke and Duchess both believe in the power of education to empower young girls, and change society as a whole. Meghan and Harry landed in South Africa last week to begin their first royal tour with four-month-old Archie. In recent days, the Duke has traveled on his own to Botswana, Angola, and Malawi. During his travels, the Duke has followed in his late mother Princess Diana's footsteps. In Angola, he walked down a street that was the site of a minefield the Princess Diana of Wales famously visited in 1997, visited the Princess Diana Orthopedic Center that his mother had visited and which was later renamed after her, and met with 35-year-old landmine victim Sandra Thijica, who had met Diana when she was a teenager. Also in Angola, Harry visited a facility run by the Born Free to Shine project which teaches about preventing HIV transmission from mothers to babies, and met with pregnant moms and HIV plus teens, and visited the neonatal war. In 1987, Diana made headlines when she shook hands without gloves with an HIV positive man at a London hospital, at a time when many mistakenly thought HIV and AIDS could be transmitted by touch. On Monday, Harry is set to visit Malawi's Liu National Park and join an anti-poaching patrol watch an anti-poaching demonstration by local rangers and UK troops. On Tuesday, he is scheduled to visit the Malwa Health Centre and other health facilities before rejoining his family in South Africa to wrap up their tour.